Welcome to my channel. This is Divested Diamonds. You have arrived. Okay, once again, this video is going to trigger most of you ladies. So please proceed with caution. I will never understand the mindset of a woman who chooses to have children, in this case, a child, but neglects to do her job as a parent. Every child deserves good parents, but not all parents deserve to have children. So there's a manhunt for a suspect in California after the body of a missing eight-year-old girl was found in his home and his girlfriend, the mother of the child, has been arrested for obstruction of justice and child abuse. This gruesome discovery was made when police carried out a search warrant around 2 p.m. Friday at 34-year-old Dante Johnson's home at the 500 block of Barclay Way in Merced, according to the Los Angeles Times. So this situation comes several days after Sophia Mason's relatives, Sophia being the little girl in the story here, told police in Hayward that they hadn't heard from or seen the girl since December. The mother of the child, whose name is Samantha Johnson, 30, was arrested on Thursday on a warrant stemming from a child abuse investigation in Alameda County last year, the Merced Police Department said. Samantha Johnson was booked into the Santa Rita Jail by Hayward Police, the Times reported. She was transferred to the Merced County Jail to face charges. Investigators believe that Jackson, okay, uh, Samantha's boyfriend, fled after news spread about the search of his home. The Merced Police Department is working to confirm that the body belongs to the missing eight-year-old and has not yet released a cause of death. Sophia's aunt, Emerald Johnson, wrote on Instagram, that she had been trying to get custody of the child because her sister, Samantha, is a drug and sex addict and a very sick person and has been on and off her meds for several years. She said that the child's grandmother took care of her until late last year because the girl's mother suffered from schizophrenia and bipolar disorder and the pair lived under her roof. After Samantha Johnson moved out of the house with Jackson, Emerald Johnson wrote, family members began seeing bruises and cuts on the young girl and made reports to Child Protected Services that unfortunately went unanswered. She even stated that her mom puts cocoa butter on her bruises so they would go away. Emerald Johnson wrote in a Friday Instagram post before a child's body was found in Jackson's home. Sophia Mason, the child, was allegedly left alone in hotel rooms to fend for herself. She would be left with no food, no water, all day, and had clearly lost a lot of weight. Emerald Johnson said that her sister had been seen without the little girl multiple times since December and told family members that she had given the child away. Fighting hard to get Sophia back is an understatement of what I went through a year ago but failed, the aunt wrote. Unfortunately, this could have been prevented had they taken Sophia away and put her back in our care last year. A GoFundMe for the child's funeral expenses has raised nearly $2,500 of a $50,000 goal since it was launched. These numbers are taken from March the 12th of this year. Here's the thing. Part of the reason my channel exists is because of stories like these. 
Black women and children have been silently crying out for help from all the abuses that they have had to endure, hoping, praying that someone would come to their rescue, that someone would come to save us from our troubles. But we've all learned, okay? We've learned that there is no savior for us. If we need or want things to change, we have to start with ourselves. We need to examine what we've been through, how we view ourselves, and what we can do to better ourselves. I'm split on how I feel about this based on what the family member said about the child's mother having mental health issues. Let's assume that she does indeed have mental health problems, right? I empathize with her for that. It's not easy to navigate your way through life, having schizophrenia and being bipolar at the same time. That sounds rough. I do understand that these debilitating conditions can prevent you from living a quote-unquote normal life. However, there are a lot of people who have these same conditions but are still able to tell right from wrong. The question is, what was going on with her that she would pick a man over her own daughter? There are a lot of Black women who go down this path, and I don't understand it. It's almost as though the child is an inconvenience in your life when you were the one who chose to have that baby. Children are not toys, and you can't use them as something to hold on to when you are going through your traumatic experiences. There's a lot of unlearning to do when it comes to the Black woman's habit of bringing children into this world. We really should be moving away from the notion that children are a blessing, therefore breed to your heart's content. It's not fair when you bring children into these hopeless situations and expect them to just cope. The issue with this mindset is that you risk repeating this dysfunctional cycle over and over and over again. Wash, rinse, repeat over and over again. When does it end? Another question. Where is the child's father? And you wonder why it is that we talk about black men being terrible fathers. What was the situation there? It's the carelessness for me. Bringing some random ain't shit man around your daughter as if you don't understand the dangers of that. There is absolutely no reason as to why that baby had to endure that amount of abuse. Being left all alone in hotel rooms with no food, water, or adult supervision is heinous. This was not her first time doing this to her daughter. And all the bruises the little girl had, what was that all about? This woman was definitely hiding something, and the rest of the answers, unfortunately, lie with that man on the run. My issue is that mammies would rather die on a hill chasing kings of nothing. It's very unfortunate because you must not think much of yourself to get embroiled with these demons. Where is the allure? Somebody please tell me, where is the allure? Is having Tyrone in your life so important that you would risk losing your daughter? Come on. We can do better than this. This is outrageous. The bottom line is, what happened to Sophia was and is tragic. The embarrassing factor of this situation is also that the family has to beg strangers on the internet for funeral expenses. This is sad, and I hope that they can get to the bottom of this frightful situation. My heart really goes out to Sophia, that innocent child 
was brought into a bad situation and paid the price for it. Blackistan is a toxic place that doesn't care about black women and children, especially your daughters. I wish that these black women would stop supporting their own demise. Divesting from these communities will not only lessen your levels of stress, but put you in a position to work on you and your mental state. Look, it's very sad that the rest of the family fought to try and help her out, but she didn't want their help. It's unconscionable, and there's only one victim here. Sadly, she can't speak or defend herself. Now let that sink in. Please leave your thoughts and comments down below and let's have a discussion. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And remember, caring about you and your mental health is a sign of self-love. There is no shame in asking for help. And don't let anyone else tell you differently. Bye, Diamonds. Bye.